just a bit of a, an interesting aside as far as rhodiola, um, and uh, particularly thinking of rhodiola as maybe something that we might take in long term. Um, recently it was shown that rhodiola has a very potent effect on inhibition of neuraminidase, which is an enzyme that's necessary for the influenza virus to replicate in the human cell and to spread. Um, it's the, um, the reason why Tamiflu does what it does. It's a neur neuraminidase inhibitor as well. Now, if you think that's far-fetched, where does Tamiflu come from? Hmm? The star anise. Yeah, the star anise, uh, which is something that's used in Chinese cooking and it's part of Chinese medicine for centuries. Star anise is a natural substance, a natural product, and it's uh, the extract of star anise that's still used to make Tamiflu today. They, they do some, some manipulation of it so they can patent the molecule, but the, uh, the, the extract of star anise is basically a neuraminidase inhibitor, and uh, rhodiola extract is a potent neuraminidase inhibitor as well. Here's um, cells grown in culture. Here's the same cells exposed to influenza virus, and all of the flu the fluorescent cells are those that are now infected with influenza virus. This is what happens if you pretreat the same cell culture with a dilute uh, concentration of rhodiola extract. This is the same cells if you pretreat those cells with a dilute concentration of Tamiflu. And uh, you can see there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells uh, fluorescing here. There's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's a little bit brighter fluorescence in some of the cells, but it's, it's certainly within the same order of magnitude. So am I claiming that putting your patients on um, rhodiola extract will prevent them from getting swine flu? I don't. I, there's no way I want to be quoted as saying that, okay? So I haven't said that. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting. Um, where I come from right now in Vancouver, everybody is getting the swine flu. Both my kids had it. Uh, two weeks apart. They were in my home and I was around them. All of my friends have had it. We've, I've had colleagues at work that have had it. Um, I didn't get it and neither did, did my wife take it. We've been taking rhodiola uh, along with other nutrients. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but it's certainly, it's kind of nice to know that if you have patients who are on this that might be a long-term intervention for people who are under stress, who are uh, those many people that come to your office saying, you know, Doc, I just don't know why, but my memory is just terrible. And uh, it just really appears to be stress-related. These are people that might really benefit from rhodiola. And if perhaps during, uh, you know, pandemic flu or whatever that they are protected, well, that's a nice side effect, I guess.